Hey, it's Ryan from All Forest Foods. So I want to talk with you a little bit about raw pine pollen. I want to talk about the true androgenic nature of pine pollen because I've come to realize that the true androgenic nature of pine pollen is so much more than the phytoandrogens, so things like the, the plant testosterone that pine pollen has in it. Uh, so we, it takes a little bit of effort to really see the true nature of it, but I think that when we start to talk about the true nature of pine pollen, we, we really start to understand the, uh, the real inherent intelligence of pine pollen and the overall benefit that we get when we use it. So, of course, we've been doing this now for uh, a few years, and we were the, the first company, like I've said, you know, working with raw pine pollen and, you know, and share, sharing it with customers. And I personally got interested in raw pine pollen and, I, and pine pollen tincture, really, in recovering from a pretty severe uh, illness. I was recovering from not just Lyme disease, but treating Lyme disease, which I treated with real extensive, real intense antibiotics and antiprotozoas for the course of a nine months to a year, which left me incredibly worn down. And the combination of raw pine pollen and raw tincture really uh, gave me a lot of restoration and the reparative effects were, were really what allowed me to, to fully heal and recover from that treatment. Now, Western medical treatment, a lot of times, in my opinion, leaves people a lot sicker than when they started the treatment for the ailment. Of course, it's not, they're not sick with the disease, but they're now sick with the treatment. Anyway, so in the, in, in the years that we've been working with our customers and working with raw pine pollen and other tonic herbs, we have this real unique vantage point because we, ha we have this, this long history of working with our customers and uh, seeing what their needs are, seeing what their benefits are, and it's really concluded with the evidence that pine pollen is a lot greater than the phytoandrogens that are in it. Uh, because the, the phytoandrogens, of course, they're in high enough quantities to have a, a real profound and positive effect of people's testosterone levels. But what we're seeing are testosterone levels when people share their blood work with us that, are, that really seem to be greater than what we can account for in the pine pollen. So this is saying, hey, something else is happening. And uh, I've kind of pieced together over time this working model of four different levels that pine pollen is working on in the body to increase testosterone levels. And the, the first level, of course, is just supplementing with phytoandrogens. So when we supplement with phytoandrogens, we get this real uh, quick and immediate increase in testosterone. And you can feel that when you use pine pollen. You know, if you're just uh, drinking raw pine pollen in water or with some of the extracts or testosterone, you'll feel that real immediate increase. Uh, it becomes real profound within 12 to 24 hours, but it is immediate. So the first level, of course, is just the phytoandrogens. Now this is a topic that's been very thoroughly covered by me on our website and other places on the internet, so I'm not going to go too much into that. Again, again the phytoandrogens, they, they supplement but we're seeing effects greater than the supplementation. So let's talk about the three other levels that are a little bit deeper than supplementation that I see pine pollen working on. So the, the next level is uh, pine pollen really seems to somehow activate the parts of the endocrine system that are responsible for testosterone production. This is happening at several different places in the body. It's happening in the uh, hypothalamus in the brain. It's happening in the anterior pituitary gland, and then finally it's happening in the Stertoli cells of the testes, those cells that are actually responsible for producing testosterone. So I'm not sure what point in the endocrine system that this might be happening on, just that it's happening at some point in the endocrine system. And the, the reason for this could be for the same reason that when, when doctors and physicians are treating people for uh, different low hormone conditions like a low thyroid hormone condition well they'll, they'll start a patient on a course of supplemental thyroid hormone and then after a few weeks they take the patient off and this is routine for treating thyroid disorder they take the patient off of that supplemental hormone the synthetic hormone that they've been taking and for some reason the endocrine system just turns back on and starts producing healthy healthy levels of the thyroid hormone all on its own. It's almost as if that supplemental 
thyroid hormone was a wake-up call for the, the thyroid, which of course is part of our endocrine system, to turn back on, and it just starts picking up back where it left off, you know, years and years before, at a real healthy level of thyroid hormone, and you don't have to supplement anymore with the thyroid hormone. I've been hearing reports of uh, customers who have gone down the pharmaceutical route using androgel and other supplemental testosterone, where the doctors will, will use a, a very similar course of uh, supplemental testosterone, where they'll start the patient on it, then they'll take the patient off, and sometimes the endocrine system, just like the thyroid system, will get that wake-up call and start producing on its own. This is not a surprising mechanism, though the mechanism is unknown. It's not surprising that this is happening because of the negative feedback uh, system that happens in, in the, the endocrine system. So it seems like possibly what's happening when we use uh, pine pollen is that it's waking back up our endocrine system. So uh, that's a, one of the, the deeper levels that pine pollen could be working on to really increase our levels of testosterone. The next one is that pine pollen is an adaptogen. Now, of course, an adaptogen is a plant that has the ability to, to increase our stress threshold. And when we increase our stress threshold, it has the, uh, the net effect of diminishing our overall levels of stress. So while we're still encountering the same levels of stress in our lives, whether that's work or even working out, we're better able to deal with it so the body's not, not seeing that stress anymore. There's a, in addition to the phytoandrogens in pine pollen, there's a few other uh, plant sterols, plant steroid hormones in pine pollen that have an adaptogenic quality. It's the, uh, the brassinosteroids and the gibberellins. This is a, a class of, phy of phytosterols that have an ad adaptogenic quality, so they're going to increase our body's ability to deal with stress. And when we, when we do that, we lower stress and we're able to achieve uh, health and wellness again. And when we are able to achieve health and wellness, we start to get beneficial effects throughout the endocrine system, including uh, our androgen hormones, our, uh, our testosterone. Some adaptogens, and now I'm not saying this is true for pine pollen, just that it could be true for pine pollen, are also gonadotropic. That means that they uh, signal to the testes to start producing testosterone in higher levels. Uh, Chinese ginseng, Panax ginseng, is a classic example of an adaptogen that's also gonadotropic. So, it could be that pine pollen's adaptogenic qualities are also gonadotropic, and that is one of the reasons why we're getting uh, elevations in testosterone greater than the amounts of testosterone that are in pine pollen. Working together, of course, all of these different levels uh, help to increase wellness. One of the ways that we can measure that is in increased testosterone. So we're, we're, we're talking about testosterone here as, a, as a, a marker, as a way to measure our overall levels of, of wellness and fitness. The last, the last level is uh, the most ambiguous and the most confusing, and that's, that's just speaking to how deeply nutritive to the body on a real primal and a real base level pine pollen is. Of course, pine pollen is a wild food, but it's a lot more than that because pollen accumulates, a bioaccumulates so many nutrients, so many uh, trace minerals, uh, antioxidants amino acids, it, it concentrates these in the pollen because the, the pollen is, is the microscopic seed that has to go out and start the reproduction of another pine tree, so it's incredibly potent. As a wild food, pine pollen has a lot of, a, a lot of minerals, a lot of other uh, trace elements in it that are largely missing from our, our modern diets, which are just getting worse and worse and worse as time goes on. And as our diets get worse and worse and worse, we're starting to see this, uh, this depletion in our vitality and our longevity of our, of our gene. While, of course, the human lifespan has been increasing over the past you know, 100, 150 years, this current generation that's being born right now, their life expectancy is predicted to actually be less than their parents. This is the first time this has happened in history in a very long time. This is solely due to the nutrition that we're receiving. Our nutrition is so poor that our life expectancy now for children being born right now is actually lower than their parents. This is, this is a, a, a real crisis in the human continuum that our, our nutrition has gotten so bad. Even those of us that are eating a, an excellent diet full of organic foods, our nutrition is still suffering because of modern agriculture. Of course, 
modern agriculture is far-reaching effects much greater than just pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. It's causing this, this depletion of all of our soils, even very healthy foods that are growing in those soils, and that has a magnification of, of loss of nutrients in our bodies. So even those of us uh, privileged enough to eat very healthily, we're still getting a, a, a loss of nutrition. Pine pollen has a lot of uh, elements in it that are missing from our from our diets, our modern diets, and that has this uh, ability to re really meet to really meet these uh, primal nutritional needs. And as as we meet those needs, we see these uh, very far-reaching, very broad health benefits. One of them is this improvement of our endocrine systems, and the the endocrine system is really the uh, I don't want to say it's the lifeblood, but it's 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 really this uh, this this deep source of longevity and of health in our bodies, uh, and by meeting its primal needs, we see real positive benefits throughout our systemic health, including our uh, our testosterone and our androgen levels. So while saying that pine pine pollen helps to increase our testosterone because it's so nutritive to the body while it seems a little ambiguous or it seems a little vague it's really it's really speaking to how pine pollen meets these uh these primal nutritive needs of the body so just to recap really quick the pine pollen seems to be increasing testosterone in ways that are far too great to account for just the way that pine pollen supplements the body with phytoandrogen hormones. It seems to be uh, working with the body to reactivate, kind of wake up, turn on the endocrine system, the uh, hypothalamus, pituitary, uh, and uh, stertoli cells in the, the testes or the, the adrenal glands to increase testosterone production. It seems to have a, a real gonadotropic, adaptogenic effect on the body uh, increasing our ability to deal with stress and achieve greater health under stress. And lastly, it seems to meet the nutritive needs of our endocrine system and our body for uh, better systemic health. Now, if you head over to our website, www.rawforestfoods.com, and navigate to the part of it that's called the Knowledge Bank, where we just have different art articles that we've written, you can find this through the, the footer on our website you'll see that I've gone a little bit more in depth on the, 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 the really the true nature of the androgenic qualities of pine pollen. So if you thought this video was interesting, just head over to the website and you'll, you'll see it there. Uh, this is something that I'm going to be continuing to explore because the more experience that I have and the more that I hear back from our, our customers and our, our friends about this, of course, my understanding is going to change. So uh, I look forward to in ha having this conversation again with you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. You can shoot us an email, info at rawforcefoods.com. You can leave it here. Uh, however you, you, you want to do that, I want to hear, hear back from you uh, about this or about an, an, anything. I hope, you, I, I hope you've enjoyed this video and find this information as interesting and as fascinating as I do. Uh, and I hope you're having a, an awesome day. Thanks for watching.